I'm Sammy Shapiro. I was on the U.S. national team from 2006 to 2011, and then I competed for Stanford University. And I started gymnastics when I was three years old as a preschool class that was offered to break up the day. Happened to be pretty good at it. My parents got a call from the coach at the time that was saying I had great upper body strength. They wanted me to come three or four times a week. Next thing you know, I get roped into it, and it, that, was, that was the end of it. Gymnastics became serious for me around age eight or nine. Before that, I was doing a bunch of different sports, and then at some point, gymnastics really started taking over. I got pretty good at it, and that's really when I started to dedicate myself and create goals and a plan and really make a lifestyle change all around gymnastics. The intensity got a lot higher as soon as it became my entire life. And going from training a few hours a week, um, doing other sports, arts and whatnot, to essentially training eight hours a day, six days a week. Very little days off, lots of injuries, and just is quite intense. I felt like my biggest accomplishments were being able to learn how to balance my priorities. Obviously gymnastics was a major priority for me, but also school was. And from a very early age, I was taught how to balance both and how to you know, focus on what I need to do at the time and compartmentalize and prioritize health and, and fitness, but also sleep and studying. So uh, lots of early lessons that were uh, utilized in, in order to be successful. And, and as far as who I looked up to, uh, when I was just on the cusp of elite, Mohini Bahardwaj came to my gym to start training for the Olympics. And uh, it was really amazing. That was kind of the first look into seeing how someone could be competing at the highest level on the biggest stage and seeing her train alongside me was really impactful. You know, when you're so in it, it doesn't feel like, you know, the, the folks you looked up to, it's weird to think about how all of a sudden someone's looking up to you in that same regard. It fills me with a lot of pride. I, I feel very fortunate that I can then be that example for others just as gymnasts that came before me were for me. And especially now in being able to coach at Beam Queen Bootcamp and see the next generation of girls and just be able to help them find love in the sport because I think you know it, it, that's what attracts us all to the sport initially and then as time goes on and when it does become more intense sometimes that fun can be pulled out and just remembering why you're doing it every day and helping instill that that joy in it is really um, something that I enjoy most in coming back to these camps and giving back. For me the biggest accomplishment I have when I think back it wasn't necessarily the wins or the, the biggest competitions that I made it to but it was being able to come back from injury and all of the fear that goes along with that and the, the hit it takes to your self-confidence and the doubt and am I ever gonna come back and do the skills that I was able to do. So just every time I was injured, being able to show and prove to myself that with hard work and positivity and, and dedication, you can really get back to that level. And it's, it's pretty cool to be able to say like, oh, this skill that I was afraid of that I'd hurt myself on, I have now mastered it and I'm consistent and I'm proud to, to compete it. So I took a sort of a hard turn out of gymnastics as soon as I retired from Stanford or graduated and retired from the sport. And interestingly, so I, I went into the corporate world. I worked at Amazon in Seattle and then was there for three years and then got moved, relocated to Los Angeles to help Amazon launch a new office. And most recently, I've just moved to Austin to work at Apple. So definitely, um, you know, very much outside of the realm of gymnastics. But what's interesting is how much even in my day to day to this day, all of the skills that I learned as a gymnast apply and really help me progress in my career. And I mentioned before, whether it's time management or getting through challenging situations or, you know, getting stuck, maybe, you know, with gymnastics, it was fear or, you know, not feeling prepared for competition. Well, sometimes if I don't feel prepared for a presentation, I fall back on those skills. And knowing that I used to do it back then, I can parlay those into what I do today. And it is pretty amazing how much gymnastics has built me and shaped me. And even though I am not using gymnastics today, all of those skills I learned are still so relevant in my everyday life.